EMA has been in the business of electromagnetic compatibility for over 40 years. So we developed EMA 3D over that span of time to solve our own problems, to help us predict electromagnetic compatibility performance of products. We have been the users primarily, and so we know those pain points. We're trying to introduce as a new paradigm not to just model part of your system, but to model your entire product and model all of the EMI EMC environments and know before you release that design to production whether or not you're going to pass. Truly quantitative data that says this is the product in this environment and it passed with this much margin. Yeah, one of the biggest problems that uh, engineers and designers really run into is that they really don't have a way to know if their design is going to work in the environment that it's installed in until after it's built. A lot of cases people aren't doing any simulation at all. The tried and true method is to test first and then redesign later. And to us that's unacceptable. It's super costly. It takes absolutely forever to, to get the factories to stop production. And in some cases you can't. And, and a lot of times those that are actually doing simulation are only solving part of the problem. You have to take into consideration how it's installed, the other components that are around it, the cables, the power, and so on. The earlier that you perform simulations, the more likely you are to succeed. It, it happens across all of the industries from aerospace to automobiles to rail to space effects. Uh, it really is the only tool that we can really use to predict what's going to happen when things are in operation. If you've already built a prototype, you've already put in hours upon hours of of design time and meetings and reviews to get to the point where you've got that prototype. So if that's where you find your problem for the first time, I don't want to have to say you're, you're going back to square one, but every change you make needs, you know, a new prototype that's expensive. It needs more, you know, meetings, more reviews, more, you know, how does this impact everything else that we already agreed on. With simulation tools like EMA 3D Cable, you have the ability to do these kind of integrations virtually in the design phase as you're making a lot of choices. One of the main strengths that I find in EMA 3D Cable is that as a full wave sol electromagnetic solver and what we call finite difference time domain uh, software approach, we're getting all the frequency information for any given uh, scenario at once. You can use this for your EMI requirements that you want to validate or verify. You can use this for ESD simulations, you know, the RF um, antenna coupling issues. Um, these are all things that, uh, you know, you can use a single model um, with you know, different applications, but, um, you know, once you've built 3D electromagnetic model, the different solvers that are available to solve all the specific problems you might have are just, they're getting easier and easier to use. What's really great about EMA 3D is the design workflow. So we can get really complicated CAD. Instead of taking six months to clean it, it takes just a few days, if even that. When customers are using our software, they're not just getting a simulation software. They're getting EMA's 40 plus years of experience solving electromagnetic problems. EMA 3D allows a brand new user to get up to speed on the product more quickly than other tools. And it allows an expert user to model the entire product. The first step is to import the mechanical CAD. So because we're built on the ANSYS Space Claim platform, we have the ability to import all popular CAD formats. And once we've assigned the material properties, we can mesh the geometry using EMA 3D's voxel style mesh. And then once we've meshed, we're ready for the EMA 3D solver. EMA 3D includes automated post-processing features that will plot the results in the same way that you would see the results from an EMC test. We are about a factor of 10 faster in building the model and running it compared to a competitive product. And that can be a big deal. If we're talking about five days, that's reasonable engineering process. If that becomes 50 days, that becomes impractical. Almost every electronic device has some form of electromagnetic compatibility requirements. Making changes after you fail an EMC test is very expensive. So we're trying to help our customers simulate the EMC performance of their product early in the design life cycle, just based on a virtual simulation of their product before it goes into manufacturing. 
And we want to enable them to do that in the shortest period of time so that it fits practically into their product development life cycle.